designs. We're here with Niche, Niche's Suburban. Uh, we've got in this build 10 of the Defont's MX 80s for the doors, uh, the MO horns, and Defont tweeters. Uh, there are 10 mids per door, as well as the five tweeters and four horns. These ran on the Defont's 2800 and the mids, and then Defont's uh, 150.4 for the mid uh, the highs. Awesome. Inside, we've got 18 12 inch. DB312s. These are ran on six of the Apocalypse 1100.8s. And inside we've got the LED light show. Uh, it's custom made uh, LED kit. So it reacts to music and uh, does all kinds of cool functions. It is a fourth order. This is a fourth order build. And what is it tuned to? Uh, tuned to the funny part is we don't necessarily figure out what you know, in a computer program, what it's tuned to. You just go by what's the loudest in the meter? Yeah, we do okay. extensive testing to find out what the box likes, what the car likes, and what the subs like. Okay. And combined, uh, we've done, like I said, extensive testing. Uh, highest we've seen so far is 164, dead even. Um, is that sealed, kick, what? That was in the kick. Okay. Uh, that being said, that was without interior, and before we wrapped the front, uh, the front floating wall is now six layers thick of bolted burst. So, Excited to see what it'll do on the meter today. Wow. That means that. We oh, check out the alternators? Yep. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Once right here, we've got Stinger 370. Uh, we got four of those. And plenty of runs of two off wires. Six runs from the back, four from uh, one three alternator to the fuse block. All the fuse blocks in this car are custom 3D printed, machine by us. Let's go up the wall here. Can we check out the back? You know what's crazy? Box. Uh, the back side here is not quite done. Uh, the reason being is that we're going to end up swapping out the amps. Due to the impedance rise, we're wired to 1 ohm and we're actually rising closer to 5. That being said, we're only clamping about 3,500 watts out of each amp. Uh, I know these amps do great for you know 1 ohm setups with not a lot of rise, but due to the fact that we're rising, like I said, almost to five ohms. Yeah. It's, they're just not doing power. So we're gonna be swapping them out with the cream style boards. Okay. Um, in the back here, we've got an 80 amp hour lithium, a limited lithium, a 60 amp hour, and then a 100 amp hour under this amp. Uh, yeah. And what kind of cool feature we added with this piece is uh, we're actually integrating the rear AC of the vehicle. Uh, we custom 3D printed an adapter plate to run PVC piping, ran it through on the inside of the vehicle. So each one of these amps has a common chamber uh, of the rear AC blowing into the amps. So I was I was here. I can hear something. Yeah. So it's behind it. So this whole unit right here is the AC that's being piped back up and then uh, fit behind the gotcha. amps. Okay. This whole chamber on the rear side has got a steel cage that's mounted up here, so it's yeah. actually mounted to the box, so it ain't vibrating. Exactly. Much. And on the inside of it, it's closed off, so that way is actually just AC chamber behind here and it's blown with fans uh, through this board. So it's basically it's just sealed off. You got AC running into the amps to keep it cool. Appreciate um, it man. Yeah absolutely. Thanks for the info. Uh, oh the AC that's right this game.